Hi. I know that most of us are hearing bad news right now. I know that most of us watch the news and we feel frightened. We don't know what to expect. We don't know what's going to occur day by day. We don't know what else is going to be shut down in our efforts to fight the coronavirus. But let me tell you, as a Christian, you have something unique that the world doesn't have. Right before Jesus was betrayed, he shared something with the disciples. He said, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, but I give you my peace. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart be fearful. How? How, Jesus, when it seems like everything is going crazy and off the rails, how can you give us peace? Fascinating. Inside this context in John chapter 14, Jesus is telling his disciples about the coming of the Holy Spirit. He's actually telling them in this context between four, chapters 14 and 16 that it's to our advantage that Jesus goes away. Can you imagine being a disciple who had been with Jesus this whole time and he looks at him and says, look, I'm going away, but it's to your advantage. Good Lord, how's that to my advantage? Lord, how? I want you but fascinating, Jesus says in the context of receiving peace that it would come through the Holy Spirit. God living inside you, Christian, through the Holy Spirit, gives you a peace. Scripture tells us that passes all understanding. Imagine the same Holy Spirit who gave Jesus the power to calm the seas during the storm. That same Holy Spirit lives in you. Yep. If we look at what the world has to offer, it's scary. But if we focus on what Jesus has to offer, the gift of the Holy Spirit living in you, then we have the power that created the universe living inside of us. You have a power that calmed chaos and put it into order. That lives in you. Jesus knew life would be hard. Jesus knew we'd face times that were difficult. But he says, I give you peace through the Holy Spirit, not as the world gives. You literally can live, Christian, without the fear that the world is peddling. I pray that each of us would rely upon the Holy Spirit, would rely upon God living in you to give us a peace. Now imagine... While the rest of the world becomes even more frightened, we become more peaceful. I bet they might want to know what our secret is. And our secret is Jesus living in us through his Holy Spirit. I thank God that we have the Holy Spirit living in us to lead us, to guide us, to empower us, and to give us peace when there are bad times.